the video you're about to watch is the very first conversation that I ever had with a scammer as a scam baiter. It is also the same scammer who tried to scam my first two grandmas and my first two videos. That's right, I got this scammer not once, not twice, but three times. I will admit that I got a lot of content out of this scammer and I melted. it. So if I die under mysterious circumstances, just remember that I am not suicidal. Little did I know, as I was wasting this scammer's time, another scammer who goes by Scammer Revolves was working on his server and successfully crashed it. While there was no coordination, no have I ever met Scammer Revolves, I like to think that as he was working on the server, I was keeping the scammers busy. After watching the video myself, I debated if I should even post it at all because my speech impediment was in full display. I was stuttering left and right. You, sir, how I told you whatever amount you would type in there will be delivered to your account immediately. And yeah, I but, yeah, but, yeah, but I, to... I did not type 200000 I typed $200. And zero cents. I did not type two hundred thousand. See, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I just saw. Hold on one second. Can you? Is that where the system can just um not do this? I I saw, I saw, I saw something in my um something's off here. Um, I, I oh, is that where we can remove this? Just have the system stop updating? Yeah, yeah, it will go. And sometimes I felt like it was really happening to me, and I got a little angry. See, it's saying it again. It's saying system is updating. Do not turn off your computer. Why? Why do you disconnect the damn thing to my computer, man? Wait, hold on, hold on. Dude, now do it doing? now. No, do it now. Disconnect the server to, to my computer now. However, I noticed that many of you enjoyed the first video, and since this one is very similar to it, I decided to release it. This is the only video that I ever plan on releasing where my bald head is in full display. So savor it. Before we start, please remember to do all the like, comment, subscribe, and follow stuff. All right, let's get into it. Do you have any link on there? Uh, I don't know where to look. I'm not quite sure where to look. on the particular account which you have opened up. Let me refresh. Let me see. I don't see a link. I mean, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for, honestly. All right, now, just do one thing, sir. Uh, write down the available balance you have in that particular account, okay? So when you will receive the funds from us, you can easily differentiate. Well, I mean, I know how much I have on it. You want me to write it down? All right. Now, just write it down in a piece of paper, okay? You don't have to tell me. If you know uh, how much you have, you don't have to tell me that. Just make a note, for, note of it so that when you receive the funds from us, you can easily differentiate that, all right? It will just show up in the transactions right here, right? I mean, I, and I'll see it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Right. I mean, okay. I'll write it down. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't see the purpose of that, but okay. Yeah. The reason why I'm telling you is because uh, what we will do now, we'll be going ahead and sending you the transaction manually. So that's the reason I want you to write down the available balance which you have in your account in a piece of paper, so that when you receive the funds from us, you can easily differentiate that. Okay? Yeah, sure, go for it. <clears throat> All right. So if you see any changes on your screen, just let me know. Uh, it says system is updating. Do not turn off your computer. Okay, okay now the server is working on it. All right, I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm a little nervous now, man. <laughs> uh, uh, what? What's going on? No, what's happening? Is yeah, we are generating a link normally. Okay, we are manually generating a link and we are logging our bank account so we can transfer the funds manually to you. So if you see anything like that, just let me know. Okay, sir? If you see any changes, just let me know. 
Yeah, I see uh, Microsoft Windows version 10.0, Microsoft Corporation, all rights reserve, users, yeah, it's my name, generating mm -hmm. a link. All right, so now the server is working accordingly. The server is generating a link, okay? And what is that? What is this link for? I mean, what? I mean, it's just, Sorry? it's just, it's just weird. I uh, normally um, it, um, it would just process a refund. Just um, I don't. Okay. Uh, the reason why uh, it is generating a link and it's not uh, going ahead and working normally is because uh, this is a procedure how we go ahead and transfer the refund, okay? Okay. Yeah. So the server is working accordingly and it is generating a link. So your uh, this bank account uh, is logged in into this one particular device or is it logged in into any other device as well? Yeah, it's logged into my, uh, I have a, a tablet, uh, a Samsung tablet, and also my phone. Okay, but uh, what happens is, sir, sometimes the link is not delivered because one particular device is not logged on. Uh, one particular device is logged on. Too many, one particular bank account is logged on into too, too many devices. That's the reason sometimes what happens is, the link that get delivered. You understand me? Okay. So basically, I can't. I can't click on nothing here right now. Sorry. I'm just saying I, I can't click on nothing right now on on the computer. Yeah. You just have to wait for the computer to go ahead and give you uh, the screen back. Okay. So just hold on a moment. We are just transferring the funds. So what I want you to do is, what I want you to do is, I just want you to write down the transaction ID, okay? Hello? Yes, hi. Yeah. What I want you to do is, I want you to write the transaction ID. Okay. Yeah. The transaction ID is 418. Four one eight. Yeah. Three seven eight. Three seven eight. Six six four eight seven. Six six four eight seven. All right. Now, if you see any changes, just let me know. Okay, help me out with the confirmation number again. The what have you, you written down the confirmation number? The one you just gave me? Yeah. 418-378-66487. Okay, there is one more confirmation number. That was the transaction ID. And now write down the con uh, confirmation number. It is uh, 3625. Okay. 299. 299. Yeah. 7032. 7032. Okay. Yeah. That's the confirmation number. So when you receive the transaction, you need to match the confirmation number. Okay, sir? I'm not quite sure what that means, but okay. Like the confirmation number would appear up on the screen. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Is this how you guys watch us all your refunds? It's kind of weird. I, I, I can't. I can't do anything here. Yeah, you I mean, just have to wait. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, the um, the mouse is moving, but I'm not. I'm not the one moving it. 
Yeah, that's the server which is working on it. And the server is going ahead and generating a link and the server is going ahead and logging our bank account into your system so that we can transfer the funds. And we have almost transferred the funds. Okay. So you'd be now receiving a server link, okay? If you see any changes on your screen, let me know. Okay. Type your refund amount. Okay. Now the server is asking you to type your refund amount, right, sir? Okay. Yeah. So what we will do is, what was your refund amount? Do you remember? It was uh, 46999. Yeah, it was 469.99. 4, so what we will do is, we'll be going ahead and transferring you the funds in two different transactions, okay? Because one transaction will be of the amount of the subscription and one transaction will be of the leftover amount, which is the transaction fee. So what we'll do is, first we'll be going ahead and sending you $200 and then we'll be sending you the rest over the amount. So where it says, uh, type your refund amount, you just need to type in 200, okay? Just 200, nothing else. Don't ma uh, make sure you don't enter, uh, don't put any backspace key or enter key or anything like that. Just 200. I mean, can the system do it? No. I mean, it's, I'm a little nervous no, because, actually... because um, I, I, I don't know what, I've never seen this before. I don't know what this is. I've never done anything like this before. So the system cannot just do it. I mean, I, I have, I'm the one who has to, to put it in. Yes, it is asking you to put in the refund amount. And whatever amount you would type in there will be delivered to your account immediately. Immediately? Usually those things take two, yes. two, two three days. Uh, um, so what do you want me to type? 200, that's all. 200, and then afterwards you'll do the, the, the rest? Sorry? And then afterwards you'll do the rest? Yeah, afterwards we'll do the rest. I've now put two hundred that that zero in and I see a bunch of sorry. Okay. What's going on, sir? No, I, I said I, I put two hundred then um I saw I saw a bunch of zeros appear after, but then the zeros went back, and then uh, who's typing this? That's the server. What do you see now? It says transfer completed. Okay. Two zero zero. With two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. How many zeros did you put in there, sir? I put two hundred dot zero zero. I mean, uh, oh, I didn't, why did I, you put? Why did you put dot zero zero? I just told you to put in two hundred. I told you uh, do not enter any other thing like dot or a dollar sign or a decimal point. Nothing like that. Oh my God, sir! What have you done? Why did you put in mm, a dot and three extra zeros? I just what's, told you to put in. What's the big deal? I mean, zero. I don't see. 200.00. I mean, it's... No, sir. That's the user interface. And whatever amount you type in there will, will be delivered to your account immediately. Just check your account. How much have you received? Uh... Is this 200,000? It's 200,000? That's impossible. Wait, something's weird here. Hold on. I don't hold on sir hold on just check your second. just check your available balance what is the available balance available balance is two hundred seven thousand six hundred twenty three dollars and thirteen cents wait so wait you guys actually sent me two hundred thousand dollars I told you sir how I told you whatever amount you would type in there will be delivered to your account immediately and yeah, I but, told yeah, but, you yeah but yeah but yeah but I I did not type two hundred thousand. I typed two hundred dollars and zero cents. I did not type two hundred thousand. 
Yes. Is this is. real? Yes, hold, on, hold on one second. I, I can't. I click it. I can't do anything on my computer. I can't. I mean, I'm clicking, but just it's hold not. Hold on. Just hold on. Don't do. Don't do anything on your computer. Why? Why isn't be that real, sir? That's the user interface. I told you, whatever amount you would type in there will be delivered to your account immediately. And I mentioned you very clearly. You just have to type in two zero zero, nothing else. Okay. You went ahead. You put a decimal point and you typed in three, three or two more extra zeros, right? And that server, that user interface, doesn't recognize any uh, decimal point in there. It's built like that. You just had to type in two hundred, and you have typed in uh, two hundred point zero zeros, right? What? Well, I'm sorry. I'm just confused. Uh... Well, it still says spending. Uh, I think if we call the bank, we can. I can hold on, uh, hold on, hold one on. second. It's calm down, sir. You don't have to do anything, okay? Well, I mean, it's still pending. Hello? I mean, I mean, we can still cancel it. Let me, uh -huh. uh, let me call. Hold on one second. Wait, sir, sir, wait. Hold on. Let me speak to my billing team first, okay? You have already messed up things. You were confused. You have messed up. I, I was not confused. I you no, I was not confused. You told me to type in. Two hundred dollars. I type in two hundred dollars and zero cents. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know how a system can take two hundred dollars and zero cents and turn yeah, into two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, the that makes no can sense. That because that that's that's the user interface. I what I, what did I tell you? I told you just just to type in two hundred two zero zero. Did I did I tell you to type in point zero zero two hundred point zero zero? No, I just told you very clearly on the recorded line. My words were just type in two zero zero. Correct. I, I think so. I mean, I don't know. Probably. Yes, that's what I told you. And you put in a, uh, you put in a decimal point and you put in two extra zero. Look, sir, I'm not blaming you. Okay. You, you might have misunderstood and you might have thought that if you put in a decimal point and two zero zero, that would be good. Right. So what I want you to do is I want you to be calm, be on, be on with me. Do not do anything on your online banking right now. Okay. Just give me a moment. Well, I'm Let trying to just... click here. I can't click uh, on anything. You yeah, know what? That's because. Let me, let me check on my tablet. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, sir. Do not do not log on to your online banking from any other device. You see that your online banking has been logged out from the computer. Yeah, due to inactivity. Yeah. So just wait. Do not log on to your online banking from any other device because this is an unrecognized transaction. And if you log on this one particular bank account in few more different devices, what will happen is your bank account can, can freeze up. Okay. So please don't do anything like that. It will jeopardize your bank account. Just give me a moment. Okay. Let me just yeah. Just give me a moment. Let me just speak to my billing team and uh, let me ask them what is the amount which has been delivered to your account. And what we what we have to do now, okay? So just stay low, just be on hold with me. Do not log on to any of your uh, do not log on to your online banking from any of the devices. You understand me? Okay, and if I do that, it will mess it up. Is that what you're saying? It will mess up the. Yeah, it will go ahead and freeze up the accounts because at this point of time, your bank account is connected with our bank account. It is connected to a server. You understand me? And from that server. For an unfortunate circumstances, it was supposed to give you two hundred thousand. Uh, it was supposed to give you two hundred dollars, and for uncircumstances reason, you have received two hundred thousand dollars, right? Yeah, I mean, why why can't I click anywhere on my computer though? I mean, I can't click anything. I can't close the browser. I can't click on anything. Nothing is working. Because because what has happened is the system has recognized that this is an unrecognized transaction. The system has. Uh, system has been knowing that this is an unrecognized transaction so that's the reason your computer was is connected to the servers okay so that's the reason it has blocked the inputs because they don't want you to go ahead and do anything on your bank you understand me now okay so it locks my do entire computer no you have not lost any of uh, any of your things neither you have lost your bank account neither you have lost your computer you will be getting back everything okay just give me a moment. Let me just quickly speak to the billing team. All right. Okay. Yeah. Be on hold. So I had a word with my billing team. Um, they have told me that, yes, we have delivered $200,000 into your account. And you saw that with your eyes as well. Right. 
Yeah, but it's still says pending. I mean, I'm telling you, if, if we call the bank, because I, I'm pretty sure some transaction that were made after um, uh, 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 noon won't be processed until the next business day. So I think we can still um, see what we can do to stop this. Look, hold on. What we see over here, that the uh, $200,000 has been taken out of our account. And you can see it that it is hit your account. And in the transactions, it says pending because uh, what's happening is sometimes the transaction hits your account, okay? You see it in your available balance. But uh, to uh, put on the date and to the transaction to complete, it shows pending on the statements, right? You are seeing pending on the statements, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you see the $200,000 in your account. You see it in the available balance as well, right? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. What I want you to do is, I want you to go ahead and log on to your bank once again, so you can see it once again. Yeah, but I can't move anything on my computer. Nothing work. Oh. Oh, now it's working. Yeah, because I told my billing team that uh, we'll be going ahead. And you have not done this on purpose. It was a just. It was a mistake. You put in a decimal point in there, right? That was the scenario. As you can see here, this camera made my screen go black. But you forgot that I have not put in the code yet, so he made it go normal. And then once I put the code in, then he will turn it black so he can change the HTML. All right, it says send code. Oh, my, my phone, hold on. All right. Wait, it went dark again. Hold on. If you remember from the beginning of the video, my savings account had 236000 in it, and my checking had 7000 So he took the money out of my savings and put it into my checking. Classic refund scam. And now he's going to edit the HTML and my savings to make it seem like there's no money missing. And that's it. That's the scam. You know this already, though. Say, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I just saw, hold on one second. Can you, is that where the system can just um, not do this? I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw something in my, um, something's off here. Um, I, I, oh, is that where we can remove this? Just have the system stop updating? Yeah, yeah, it will go. You can go ahead, you'll be going ahead and getting your bank account. Just hold on a moment, sir. It is the server which is recognizing your bank account. You're again logging in. That's the reason it is recognizing it. Just hold on a moment. It will give you your bank account. Okay. Jakob? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. If you see any changes, just let me know. Okay. Do you see your bank account? Yeah, I see my bank account. I have 400. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? And you see the available balance in your bank account? Is it still the same? Yeah, I could have sworn right before it went dark. I saw this. Okay. Okay, so now just do one thing, sir. Do not uh, do anything on your bank account. What I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and log off from your bank account. You want me to log off? You understand? I yeah. can't do anything. It keep the system. The, the the computer keeps going blank. I yeah, I can't. because you might be you might be clicking on uh, any of the accounts, right? That's the reason it is uh, going ahead. And 
appearing up the blue screen sometimes because the system uh, is uh, viewing your activity as well you understand me because yeah. the system is connected to your servers so it is viewing your activity since you you have seen the available balances and it is perfect what i want you to do with i don't want it's not perfect at all actually <laughs> this is a problem this is not perfect why what is the problem you Tell said me? you said i saw the balance and it's perfect i mean that's not perfect i mean there's two hundred thousand dollars in my account don't get me wrong i mean it's uh, i would love to have that extra money but i mean this is weird man i mean i don't understand how can, uh, can't you guys just uh can the system just take the money out of my account i mean what's the big i will come to that i will come to that just do one thing log out from your account sign out from your account why i okay, mean i, I mean i mean to... i mean if we do a tr if we... wait hold on don't do any transfer or anything just do one thing log off from the account i will tell you how we are going to fix this okay just sign off from the account because the system is going ahead and viewing your activities okay so if you do uh, if you if you go ahead and do anything else what will happen is the system will feel a threat you understand me and it can go ahead and freeze your account now what do you see on the screen have you log off from your account Yeah, it says yeah you've been logged out. Thank you for visiting. Okay, just minimize your page. Be on your home page where you see all your uh, where you see your wallpaper. Okay, now listen to me. You have seen that the two hundred thousand dollars has been delivered to your account. Now, my billing team has stated me. two different options how we can go ahead and fix this up okay 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 yeah I, and i would like to put both the options on the table for you look sir whatever your refund amount was like it was 469 dollars for 99 cents you can keep that 469 dollars and 99 cents and whatever the extra amount is you need to return us back that amount like you said it's not your money it's my company's money right okay Yeah. So there are two options which my billing team has given me. I would like to put both the options on the table for you to decide. Okay, sir. So Okay. Yeah. So in the very first scenario, in the very first option, what we will do is <coughs> excuse me. You don't in the very first scenario, you don't have to do anything. We will be going ahead informing our bank about this transaction, okay? And we will tell them to reverse whatever the extra amount of money you have received in the account okay that seems to be very simple let's do that man i mean it's but there is a big but in this but what will happen is once the bank gets to know about this transaction once they will know that you have received $200,000 instead of uh, $200 what they will do is they will reverse the payment but they will raise a red flag on your account and they will mark your account as a fraudulent account And do you know what will happen if a red flag will be will be raised on your account? I don't know. What is that? What is that? What does that mean? A red flag? Okay. So a red flag means if a red flag has been raised on a particular account, on a personal account from a business account, that means that bank account is a fraudulent account. Okay. And that no, bank I've had that account for. I've had, no, I, I've had that account for years, and uh, and. Uh, The, the branch manager uh, Chris Chris over there he knows me so I mean I I doubt um they would do that I mean it's they know me I mean I've had that account for a year Chris I, I we go to the same I, Chris and I we go to the same church together so I, I um nah I'm pretty sure they would not do that I mean I've had that account for a very very long time man I understand that you have the account for a very long time. but unfortunately this is the procedure this is a legal procedure if 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 my bank go goes ahead or if your bank goes ahead and reverse the transaction they will have to go ahead and mark this transaction uh, a fraudulent transaction and they will have to go ahead and put a red flag on the account so once the red flag will be raised on your account what will happen is sir, your bank account will be freeze for the next 90 days you understand me for 90 days okay Yeah. So so after so, after 90 uh, days they would release the account again after they do, done their investigation they would just release the account 
in after yeah, 90 after days? After the investigation. After the investigation, they will investigate you and they will put this case on investigation and this account would be free uh, for the next 90 days. And uh, you wouldn't be able to make any transactions from this account and whatever money uh, you have in that account will be free for an unknown period of time. Like let's say uh, till the time the case is uh, ongoing investigation. So that's the first option. Just for okay? some... This seems so weird now to me, we, man. This is surreal. I mean, it's it's. I've never been in a situation like I this mean, before, man. This is weird, man. Uh, I, I, this is so it. weird. Now we we have a second option as well. Let me just let me just tell you both the options, okay? We have a second option as well, okay? So the second option is you can go to your bank, okay? You can go to your bank, and you can. Uh, <clears throat> Either way, you can uh, withdraw the funds or you can do one thing. You can make wire transactions. Will that be okay? Have you ever made a wire transaction? Yeah, I've done wire transactions. You have you have made wire transactions, right? Yeah, who hasn't? Yeah. Yeah. So probably either way, you will have to go to your bank physically and you will have to make a wire transaction. Okay. In that case, what will happen is uh my bank wouldn't be uh informed about this transaction neither your bank will be informed about this transaction and you can wait, make wait, the did, 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 did you say your bank would not be informed and my bank would not be informed yes sir so what's the purpose of that i mean what um i yes, mean don't the, i mean the banks need to know right i mean it's it's if i once the wire is initiated yes, i mean there's a you know, I know. I mean, I know. Uh, last time I did a wire, I had to do uh, write a memo, recipient. You know, the bank account, all those things. So I mean, I'm sure the bank yeah, yeah. will be notified somehow. Both banks will yeah. know what's going bank, on. The bank, yeah. Look, sir, over here, the bank. See, at this point of time, my company's bank account, they know, and your bank account also knows that you have received. Two hundred thousand dollars, okay, and uh, they know that you have received it from Norton, but they don't know that this is a fraudulent charge. This is not a fraudulent charge. This was a mistake. I mean, this, yeah, uh, I mean, I mistake. mean, okay. The fact that you're using the word fraudulent is making me nervous. Okay, so this was a okay. mistake. I don't know how. They, I don't know how a system can be that flawed to be able to transfer. Uh, Instead of yeah, saying this by two hundred dollars, send him two hundred thousand dollars, and this is what I'm saying: the system should be able to do this automated. Because I don't know why you have the customers typing this crap in when you know the system is that fragile. Why? Why have the customer even put it in? Why not just have the system the same way the system did all those, um, all that connecting? So the, the system did all the connecting, all that stuff, and it could not just type in a simple refund amount. This is ridiculous, man. I mean, I, I don't get this. I, Hold on, sir. Hold on. Hold on, sir. Let me just tell you what happened, okay? The system is built in such a way that you just, that the system doesn't recognize any kinds of sign. Like, it doesn't recognize dollar sign. It doesn't recognize the decimal point. And it also doesn't recognize the enter key or the back. Well, yeah, back yeah, 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 yeah. But still, why have the... Cus I mean, why did I have any involvement in this at all? I mean, I mean... If, I mean, even a refund reason, form. I, I mean, even a refund form. Uh, okay, that makes some sense a little bit, but not really. But me having to type in going into that black screen and typing in a refund amount, I I should not be able to do that. I mean, that should all be done either by you guys or by your system. Not I should not be involved in this stuff. So I, I mean, I don't know how. Sure, but, but the procedure, this procedure, has been provided as to the Better Business Bureau, like. Sometimes what happens is that some of the customers go ahead and uh, fill out the refund form and whatever refund we provide them, they are not happy with that refund. Like let's say the refund amount is $500 and sometimes the customers only get the refund of uh, let's say $300. So they are not ha happy because the leftover amount, which is $200, they never get it. So the Better Business Bureau updated the system and they told us, that the customer should type in their refund amount by themselves. So that's the reason this system came up, okay? 
So now, sir, let's not quarrel about what has happened in the past. Now, let me tell you how can we go ahead and fix this, right? <clears throat> yeah, we need to fix this as soon as possible, actually. Yeah. yeah. So uh, probably uh, you will have to go to the bank and you will have to tell them to make a wire transfer. So now, what will you tell them if they ask you what are you making a wire transfer? Yeah, we were doing the refund. They made a mistake, and two hundred thousand dollars was sent to me by mistake, and we're just returning it. No, sir, you just can't tell them that. Like I told you, if Why you not? go ahead and in, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Like if if you go ahead and tell them that you have made a mistake and you have received two hundred thousand dollars from Norton. Unfortunately, they will go ahead with the legal proceedings. Okay, because if your bank goes ahead and raises a red flag on your account and mark your account as a fraudulent account which you doesn't want to hear then what will happen is that particular bank account your bank account will be getting a 35% commission from my bank okay so you just can't go ahead and tell them that you were receiving a refund of $200 and instead of 200 you have received 200,000 you know what let, let let me do this real quick i will I have I have uh, another account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer money into my other account from my Bank of America account, and then you guys can go ahead and process the um the no. thing. Even if it takes ninety days, that's fine. I'm going to have money in my other bank account that I have with my credit union here. So this way, I have money during those ninety days, and this way, when you guys are done with your investigation and take all. So you remember the first option when you told me that the bank would um your bank. Who do you guys bank with? Who, who's your bank? Uh, we bank we have different banks we have banks with bank of america we have bank yeah but which Chase. bank sent me that money just now it would be bank of america i guess okay so it's a bank of america i'm oh, dude this is easy man come on i mean if it's bank of america to bank of america they can easily fix this this is this is this guy, you know what i i know chris the branch the branch manager i, I told you the, the um um where i go I mean, we go to we go to the mm -hmm. same church together. I'm telling you, he can fix. He can. I don't know if he can fix it, but I'm pretty sure he knows a thing or two about this stuff. So, I'm telling you, if, if I go to the branch right now, I think they're still open. If I go there right now, I, I can talk to him, and then uh, they can probably just reverse. If it's Bank of America to Bank of America, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys can. Bank of America can just handle this. I mean, we, you and I don't have to have any type of involvement. They can easily fix that, right? I mean. Look, I I don't doubt the intentions that you have in order to return my money back, my company's money back. But what we are doing is, this is uh, what we are doing right now. We need to be very sure about this and we need to be very confident about this, okay? I'm just telling you the truth, what my billing team has stated me. And I've also been working for banking, okay? So I know very much that even if you have a friend in your bank, even if you know the person personally, he would have to go ahead with the legal proceedings, okay? Because that's the well, legal well, th th that's, that's the thing, though. I don't mind the legal proceedings. I mean, if we have to go through some legal proceedings, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. But, I mean, as long as I... Um, so, that's what I'm saying. Let me just transfer some money to my other account, to my credit union, while this has been investigated. So, during those 90 days, I'll have money. And then when the ninety days is over, and then that's it. I mean, I don't mind the I don't mind them going through the process. They can easily go through the process. I don't mind. I mean, I, I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, I have no criminal record. I have no nothing. I mean, you can look at my background. I mean, I I have no, I'm I'm a clean guy. I've never been to jail. Never been arrested. Never nothing. So I'm not afraid of some little. Pre so they can go ahead and do their legal proceedings. And then uh, once they're done, they just Bank of America just transfer the money back to your account. And then everyone's happy. So I mean, I think it's. I'm, I mean, I'm totally hold fine on. with that. You know. Hold on, sir. Hold on. I'm not accusing you. I'm not telling you that you have done this on purpose. Okay. I understand that you just entered a decimal point in there. Okay. Because you were not aware that the server wouldn't recognize a decimal point. Okay. Now, if your bank account gets locked up, what will happen is. The money which you have in the bank account, including my company's money, that money also get freezed up for the next 90 days, okay? So we don't want that to happen. Because over here, I am also jeopardized. My job is also jeopardized here. So unfortunately, we will have to go ahead and fix this in such a way 
that we can retrieve the money. How is your job possible. in jeopardy? I mean, you did nothing wrong. I mean, you did nothing. It was all the system, right? I mean, were you tight? I mean, I, I, so look, how? Look, 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 look here, look here. It was on the system, but I was the one who was talking to you. Okay, so my company might think, or my company would think, or my company is thinking that I was the one who told you to do it. You understand me? So over here, I'm also I'm also in trouble with you. At the same, we are just traveling with the same thing. We are just traveling with the same. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Just got a notification. Just got a notification from the servers that uh, you try you're trying to log into your account. Please don't do that. I'm not so trying to log into the account. I, I was looking at the. That black screen it was still showing up. I, I clicked on it to look at it. Okay. So what I'm what I'm explaining you is you will have to go to the bank, okay? And probably you don't have to share like you were receiving uh you were receiving a two hundred thousand uh, dollar you were receiving a refund f from Norton of two hundred and instead of two hundred you have received two thousand dollars. And me you can keep this private, okay? And you can just tell them to make the wire transfer, and they will not go ahead and make a wire transfer of two hundred thousand dollars in one go, right? I've never made a big wire like that in my life. Yeah, de yeah, definitely they will not make a wire transfer of two hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. So I, yeah. So uh, let's say what we will do is uh, we will divide this payment in four different transactions. Okay, we will go with. Uh, wire transactions with 50 50 50 okay you understand me so it will be four different transactions all right dude this is complicated dude <laughs> i mean this, this <laughs> I is i know this is complicated but i'm but i'm pretty sure that you are the person who can go ahead and fix this up okay because i have that confidence in you okay so I'll explain you what you have to do. What we will do is the Bank of America will not go ahead and let you make a wire transfer of $200,000. All right. So what we will do is we will first take $50,000. First wire transaction you will have to do for $50,000. You understand? Or you tell me like which, uh, which way you are comfortable with. Like you are comfortable with making a wire transfer or either way, you are comfortable with going ahead and withdrawing the funds and you can keep it to yourself and one of my executives can come to your place and you can hand over the cash to him. You tell me. You want me to withdraw $200,000 in cash? No, and they have will not it give on you, me? No, no, they will not. <laughs> That's not going to happen, not, man. No bank. <laughs> yeah, because no bank will go ahead and let you withdraw $200,000. At least what they can do is they they can go ahead and give you the highest amount of twenty thousand dollars. That's what they will do in one go, right? Probably I don't know. I've never had to withdraw more than a couple thousand dollars, and I've never done more than two three thousand dollars withdrawal. I've never done anything that high before. I get it. Yeah, I get it. But I'm pretty sure because I know uh, I'm also in this company for like let's say eight years, so I know the banking. So if you go to your bank and wait, you so tell this them so so, so 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 this has happened before. Sorry. So this has happened before. This this uh. No, this doesn't happen regularly. This doesn't happen regularly, but uh, sometimes it has happened with other customers as well. So I'm familiar with this kind of stuff. Okay, like uh, not with me, but with other people and some of the banking managers. So I know what's going on. And not this kind of stuff. Like, let's say there is some other problem. So there are people who go ahead and work this out. And mm, I have been doing this and I know what you have to do. Okay. So I've been working for the banking department in this company. That's what I meant to say. You understand me? Okay. So, yeah. That's what I meant to say that I've been working in this company for the banking department so, as a uh, refund manager. So I know what and how much a bank can allow you. Okay, so you can go to the bank, you can withdraw $20,000 at one go, you can come back home, you can sit back, one of my executives from 
your local branch, like from your local place, you can come over and you can hand over the cash. I don't want I don't want anybody okay? coming to my house, man. Nah, I don't want anybody anybody coming to my house. That's not gonna happen. Nah, I'm not comfortable with people coming to my home. People I don't know coming to my home okay, to, okay. To, to to take money from me. I'm not comfortable with that at all. No, that, that I don't okay. no. All right, I was just asking you, like I told you, I was just asking you which way you are comfortable. So you are comfortable with the wire, right? I'm not going to say I'm comfortable with it. I mean, I'm I'm slightly more comfortable with the wire than having some stranger yeah. coming to my home taking cash from me. That's just weird. Yeah. I mean, this is Yeah. You know what? I, I let's let's let let's do it the, the the proper legal way, okay? Let like you were saying. I mean, I I mean, I'm not afraid of the legal way, man. I mean, that, let's just do it that way. Let's just look, have the look, banks. Look, let's just have the look, banks look, take look. care of this because I because I this is this is too complicated for me. I it's not complicated. It's just a little weird. I've never been in a situation like this before where, where I have to do this stuff. I'm saying let's just do it the normal the, the legal way. Have your bank, have Bank of America. They can do their own thing, and then we we, we file some type of um, reversal, whatever. I mean, actually, the same way you guys um. Send me the money. Just withdraw in my account, you know. And if and if it happens that it it there's a freeze in my account, let me log into my account real quick, transfer some money. Actually, actually, I can go to my account right now, take take like a um make a transfer to my sir, other credit union. Sir, 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 sir. And then the I, ha I, ha the, I have money. Moment, I have money for the. Me, sir, you need to listen to me. You are no. just saying your things, okay? You don't want to listen to me to understand me. That's not that. That's not gonna happen. Okay, we need to well, it's not going to happen. What, 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 because I'm trying to um, get out of this situation, man, because this is just a weird and complicated situation to be in that I don't want to be in right now. So I think it's better if yeah. if we I just go to my bank, to the Bank of America, withdraw like $50,000 or something that will keep me going for the 90 days that they're doing the investigation. And during those 90 days, you guys get your money back and then... They was, I'm pretty sure they will come to a good conclusion. I'm pretty sure Bank of America will see that this is just a regular, normal conclusion. Because this is just a weird... Okay, what? What? The very moment you withdraw a single dollar from there, from your Bank of America account, your Bank of America account will be freeze. okay? It will show up as zero. How? Nah. That, that, dude, come on, man. That makes no sense, man. How can my bank account show up as zero? The... the I have just four hundred thousand dollars in it right now. You think it's gonna just show up at zero just like that? That's that's weird, dude. Yeah, sir, because because the accounts will be freeze and whatever money you have in that account will be taken out from your account and it will be kept in a third party account with the banks. Okay, neither your bank can get hold of that money, neither my bank will be getting hold of that money. You understand me? It will be taken out of your account and it will be kept in a third party particular account. And neither your bank accounts can get hold of it. Neither you can withdraw that. Neither my banks can withdraw that. Until unless the case is on in, on investigation. You understand me? So look, sir, I'm not bluffing with you. I'm just stating you the truth. Okay. So it's better we work together and we find out a win-win yeah, situation. Yeah, but I don't want to do this without the bank knowing what's go um banking involvement. If you and I would just you. We're just brainstorming, and you're brainstorming, telling me, okay, let's do this, let's do this behind the bank, and not even let the bank know what's going on. That's a little weird. I mean, that's why I'd rather just let the bank take care of it. You know what I mean? See, I mean, it's, and, especially and, since my bank is Bank of America, your bank is Bank of America. I mean, it's the same bank. I mean, it's not like they're trying to do something with some other bank. I mean, it's all internal. I'm pretty sure Bank of America has a way to fix this. Um, but I'm pretty sure Bank of America has a way to fix this. I mean, I'm, pre I'm they, they, they gotta have a way to do it. I mean, it's a big bank. I'm, they've been in business for a very long time. I'm sure there's a way that they can fix this easily without me having to withdraw cash. People, people come in my house or having to do wire transfers. It's just weird, man. That's just weird. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you to withdraw. Okay, I just give you an option. I thought if you were comfortable, if you're not comfortable with the wires, if you want to withdraw, I just gave you a suggestion. I'm not comfortable like with either. To... I'm not comfortable with either situation at all. I'm more comfortable with having the bank do this internally. Okay. That's what that's what okay, I'm comfortable right. with. You you think I'm bluffing and whatever I'm telling you, it's just false. So just do one thing: log on to your online banking. 
You said if I logged in, it would, it would, it would, uh, thing. I, I, I'm not logging in. Why should I log in? Yeah. See, over here now you are backing off. You are telling me that you want to go ahead with the legal, legal options and now you, you don't want to. No, I'm saying, I'm saying that, I'm ahead. saying, no, I said, let's go to the bank. Let me, let me go to the bank and have the bank st log into the account or see what's going on. And then they can do it from there. And I mean, but you, you told me not to log in. I said that I'm backing off. I, I mean, I don't want my money frozen um, just like that. But if I go to the bank right now, yeah. you know, and then. And the then bank, look, look, you don't want your money to be frozen, right? That's the point. So if you go to your bank, look, I have been, my company's account is also be, uh, also with Bank of America. So I know what are the terms See, and screen, conditions of Bank of America. Let, let me just look, turn this look, computer look, off. Look, sir, look, sir, look. Sir, hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm I, I will give you a. I will give you a fair enough chance to speak. Okay, I am giving you time to speak, and you are not listening to me. Yeah, but the computer but, uh, just went blank again. I mean, it, it just went blank. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, okay, look up. Okay, it was. Yeah, let, let me. Uh... I will... Listen to me. First, listen to me. I will give you a fair enough chance to speak. You are interrupting in between, and you are saying just whatever you want to say. You need to listen to me as well, okay? It's, it's, it's not that I'm interrupting. It's just um, this is a, you have to admit this is a weird situation, man. This is a weird, complicated situation to be in that I don't want to be in. I was not looking. For, I mean, I've been on the phone with you for almost an hour, over an hour now. I mean, I thought this was going to be like a five, ten minute conversation, and then boom, I'd be done. I didn't know I'd be sitting with you <laughs> an hour later, still talking yeah. about this. <laughs> That if it would be a five-minute conversation if uh, you wouldn't have put in a decimal point. If you have, if you would have heard me clearly that you just have to put in two hundred, then it would be a five-minute conversation. Well, maybe now, if, 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 if if you guys, if Norton had an easier that, refund process, you guys charge. Okay, wait, no, wait, wait. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let, let, let me say what I'm saying though, because because because. because I'm getting pissed off a little bit too, man. I'm getting pissed off a little bit too now. Okay. Because I'm saying that the way you guys process this refund is flawed. It's very bad way. It's an it's not a good way to process a refund because if you guys can charge me two hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred, uh, I mean four hundred and seventy dollars, and um without me having to do anything, I don't know why you guys can't just uh um refund me four hundred seventy dollars. Why do I have to go through all this process to get a stupid? It, it, if I'd known that, I would have just said, you know what, keep your four hundred dollars. I don't need it. Because I, I have money, I don't need the stupid four hundred seventy dollars. I just saw it, and 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 I want, and I said, okay, let's uh, let's get a refund. But if I if I had known that it was gonna be this complicated, and I'd been in this situation, I would have told you, keep keep the four hundred seventy dollars. I don't need it. Keep it. I don't need it. I don't want to be in this situation at all, man. So that's why I'm saying, let's let the bank do it. Let, let's let the bank do it, man. I think it's a lot easier to now, let the bank do it. Now, 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 hold on. Now, what I'm saying is. You told me that uh, you are concerned about your money because you don't want your money to be, be free, right? That's what I'm concerned about. I'm also concerned yeah. about my company's money. I don't want my company's money to be free. So I know the Bank of America procedures. If you go ahead, walk in and tell them that you have received $200,000 from Norton and it was a mistake, they're going to do the legal action, okay? They're going to do it with the legal proceedings. And the very first thing they will do in the legal proceedings is just that they will go ahead, they will go ahead and log on they will go ahead and freeze your account put a red flag on your account you understand me that's the first thing they are going to do they are going to freeze that money because that money you will tell them it doesn't belong I'm, to I'm, you I'm, I'm trying to tap i'm trying to search the the the, the valuation of, of what what is the valuation of norton norton seems to be I, I mean i've never used them but i mean i'm pretty sure you guys are a multi-million dollar company right how much are you guys worth yeah. I'm trying. Let, let me look at my phone. Hold on one second. I don't know why my, I can't use my computer anymore. Hold on. Norton. You guys are a big company, Sir, man. Will you, we are a big company. And let's not, let's not grab the value well, of my well, company. Well, 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 the, well, the reason why, why I'm telling you this is because uh, I used to uh, run a transportation company when I was younger, okay? And I'm telling you, we used to process refunds. They were not this complicated, Okay. We would just go on a website, we click, boom, we process refund. It, it would take like, they would call us, say, hey, um, uh, um, I, I want to cancel, blah, blah, can you find my money? Sir, Fine. Sir, sir, We're going, sir, boom, sir, we can, we can. Is, I mean, sir, I, mean I, I was sir, running you, a small, com a small, very small company. You, you guys are a multi-billion dollar company. 
You cannot process a soup and fuck. I'm sorry. I cursed. I'm sorry. I don't know why I cursed. You can go ahead and tell me that, sir. That uh, I'm go ahead and speak to my billing team and tell them to reverse the payment with the very first option, right? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Okay, so please, please go ahead and log on into your online banking. Why? I mean, why do I need to log into just, just, uh. Log on to your online banking and I'm just going ahead and. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't use the computer. Let me turn it off. Hold on one second. Don't turn off the computer. Hello. Yes, hello. Yeah, what's going on, sir? All right. Is your computer up? Yes, it's up and running, yes. I'm logging into the bank account yeah, right now. Hold on. On your computer? Yeah. What is the available balance you see there? Hold on, I'm putting in my... Uh, I'm getting the, the verification, the authorization code. Hold on. Oh. My system is telling me that you're not logging uh, your bank account on your computer. I am not logging in that end? I'm on my computer. No, it's telling me that you are not using your computer. Dude, I'm I'm in front of my computer right now. It's logging in. My name is Martin Brown. M A R T I N. Oh, wait, hold on a second. This is weird. I'm looking at my account here. Wait, my savings. Hold on one second. What's, what's, what's this? Online banking transfer to the vintage 200,000. Ah. Uh. Huh. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yes, sir. Tell me. Yeah, I'm looking at my bank account right now. There was never any money sent to me. It was just, I think the system took money out of my savings because my savings balance is 36580 It It was 200000 and then, and I'm looking at this online transfer. I, I never receive any money from you guys. I'm, I, I don't think so. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I never receive any money from you guys. This is just a transfer between my savings and my checking. Yeah, whatever you are at, whatever information is required, you can tell Yeah, you know what? Since, since 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 it's fine the way it is right now, let's. You know what? You guys can keep the four hundred seventy dollars, man, because I don't see anything in my account. I don't see any two, extra two hundred thousand in my account. You guys can keep. You, you guys can keep. You guys can keep the four seven because it seems like there was nothing at all. It was just a transfer from my. Let me. Okay. Let me. Uh. Yeah. Let you what. All right, he's going to try to edit the HTML to make it look correctly, but I'm just going to shut the computer down and just mess with him. Let me turn it off. Hold on yeah. a second. Because the server, don't turn it off, sir. Just wait. The server is working on it. Nah, it, 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 it's saying I, I never received it. Let me turn it off. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't do anything, sir. What do you see on the screen, sir? Oh, I turned the computer off. Turn it back on, sir. Turn it back on. Might be a technical glitch. That's the reason you are seeing that the $200,000 has been transferred from your saving to check-in. But Turn I mean, I, computer I, back. Yeah, but I couldn't. I mean, I don't want the system to do anything. I mean, this, why is the system still on my computer? Because it's connected, sir. 
we need to go ahead and be sure what is the amount you have received from us you must have received something from us if you are telling me that you have not received the 200000 from the co from the company you must have received a transaction from us you must have because i gave you a confirmation number i gave you everything right yeah, something's. I don't want to tell you, man. I mean, doesn't it was just a transfer from my savings to my checking? Very good. Uh, just pull up your computer. Is the computer turned on? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, I'm logging in again right now. Hold on. Just wait for for the computer to get connected to the servers. It is not connected to the servers. I don't want it to get connected. I don't. I don't want. I don't want it to get, to get connected to the server at all. Actually. <laughs> The reason why you're not seeing the money in your account is because it is not connected to the servers, okay? And this my computer is never connected to your server until today. It's never been connected to the server. See, I'm seeing my account right now. Two hundred thousand dollars. Let, let me six twenty three. Yeah, let me. Yeah, it's fine, man. Let me. Uh, so okay. So let's just power this off. I'm just gonna power my computer off, and then uh, we good, man. I mean, I don't want the server to come to come to my uh. To go into my um so if you after this after this uh turning off the computer if any money is missing from your account we are not responsible right what do you mean if any money why would money be missing in my account because my company tells me that uh we have sent you two hundred thousand dollars and you are disconnecting your your computer from the servers all the time so if the server goes ahead and freeze your account and whatever money you have in that account that gets that that gets drained out. Yeah, but you're not responsible. I don't want your server to be connected to my bank account. You understand what I mean? I disconnect your server you from my bank account. To, but you, are. you don't want the servers to be connected to the bank account, but unfortunately, you are connected to the servers. Your bank account is connected to the servers. Okay. So now we need to figure out a way where we can finish this. Okay. We just can't go ahead and <coughs> disconnect the servers in between. All right, hold on one second here. Just turn on the computer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's on. I'm telling you, man, it's fine, man. It's, it's, uh, I'm telling you, I'm looking at my savings right now, right? It says pending online banking transfer to Advantage Plus checking confirmation. So it, it doesn't say any, it's from my savings to my checking. And now I'm looking at my check. If I, if I click on my checking right now, see, now I click, click again. What, dude, disconnect your, your, your serve, serve to my computer, man. Disconnected, hey, dude. Hold, See? See what I'm on, saying? Man. Dude, turn no. Get your server off my like, my computer now. Disconnect your server. Just give me two minutes. I'm just no, I'm not minutes. giving you this. I'm turning it off. You turn it off and whatever money you have in that account, that would be missing. I'm telling you that for sure. Whenever you're logging in, the server is detecting the activity that you have logged in into your online banking. You understand me? So that's that's what's happening is, and you are telling me that you don't see the money in your account. So the server, what the server is doing is, the money which you have received from us, it's a shadow balance, okay? You it's are a not what? Able to see. It's a shadow balance. A shadow, a shadow balance? balance? What the hell is a shadow balance, dude? What the hell does that mean? Yeah. That means, see, we just can't go ahead and let your bank see that you have received $200,000 from Norton. So that shadow balance is in your account until unless you don't go, you doesn't get connected to the server, that balance wouldn't appear. So that's the reason whenever you're logging on to your online banking, the server is trying to connect you so that it can show you the online available balance which you have in there with the shadow balance. So it's a the shadow balance means the money which you have received from us, it's hidden. Until unless you don't get connected to the servers, that money wouldn't show up in the account. You understand me? And you see, not that, really, uh, not really. I don't, I, I don't understand anything of what's but nothing's what's going on right you now. You don't at understand all. me, but you you believe your eyes, right? You believe your eyes. Yeah, and my Before eyes are saying, on, but yeah, but my eyes are saying that. There's no two, there's no extra two hundred thousand dollars in my bank account. You know, it just a transfer was made from my checking yeah. to my savings. You, you you are seeing you are seeing that because what what the server has done, it has made the transaction look like that it's from your own internal account. Okay, so 
so then you will connect your uh, when you will connect your system to the servers and once it will uh, rectify it once it will detect it that you are connected to the server then you will be able to see the available balance which is actually in there until then sir the amount you have received from norton that amount will be hidden it will be there in the shadow balance you understand me so shadow once you balance. go ahead turn on your computer once you go ahead, turn on your computer. Tell me. My computer, computer is my, my computer is on. It's on. It's been on. No, my server tells me your computer is not connected. That's a good thing. Good. So, so you guys disconnected. Okay, great. That's awesome, dude. Okay, so let's miss. So we good to go, man. Let me turn off my computer. We don't need to be in, in no. it anymore, man. Because the server, no. I don't want the server to be in my account anymore. See, it's saying it again. It's saying system is updating. Do not turn off your computer. Why? Why do you disconnect the damn thing to my computer, man? Wait, hold on, hold on. Dude, now do it doing... now. No, do it now. Disconnect the server to, to my computer now. You would be seeing the available balances now. Just wait. Wait for the server to give you the balance. What? The server doesn't know anything. I mean, the, the, the server... Dude, your system is flawed, man. I'm telling you, dude. Dude, this is weird, man. Get out. This is weird, man. This. What? I, okay. What you, you know what? Okay. I logged into this account three times, mm -hmm. three or four times before this. I let mm -hmm. this, 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 your server that's plugged into my com computer or my account. And mm -hmm. every time I looked it up, there was no extra two hundred thousand dollars in my checking. It's can, mm -hmm. is there a way? Can the server let me click on my account to see what what's going on? I mean, the server is not letting me click on anything. I can't because before it was saying transfer, I can't click on anything. Okay, now, now listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The reason before you were not able to see the two hundred thousand you have received from Norton, that money because you are not connected to the servers okay because uh, what we want is we don't want uh, your bank to acknowledge that you have received two hundred thousand dollars from us that's the reason that money was in your shadow balance okay that's the reason whenever you are you were disconnected from the server and whenever you are trying to log on to your online banking without uh, without the server connected to your computer that particular time you are not able to see the shadow balance you are not able to see what was the actual balance you had in there okay but now when you are connected to the servers you are but now when you are connected to the servers you see the actual balance now do you see the actual balance that you have received two hundred thousand dollars extra in your account do you see that balance now i i mean i see tony but i mean i can log in to see the transaction history it's not letting me click on it okay There we go. Okay. See online transfer. What? What? What the frack, man? What happened? Now again, you see uh, the blue screen. It's a it's a black screen, but yeah. Yeah. So that's the uh, that's the server which is detecting your activity. Just hold on. It will, the way. It hey, listen, listen. Let, let me tell you something. I don't like. People tracking my activity online, okay? I, I hate that crap. It's not people tracking your activity, okay? It's the server which is tracking I don't care if it's activity. a server or a person. I don't like anything tracking my activity, okay? Dude, get this stuff off my computer now. What do you see on the statements? This is online transfer from Norton. You see online transfer from Norton? See, see right here? here you see, right here? See, see, it says... Checking two hundred seven thousand dollars and then savings thirty six thousand five hundred and eighty. You see what I mean? That's what I'm telling you, man. There's no money. There's no extra money in my account, dude. Wait, where you see? Uh, I don't see your bank account, but uh, where do you see that uh, only thirty six thousand dollars in your savings? When uh, see it went black again. I dude, this is just ridiculous, man. Something's off here. I don't get. I don't know what's going on, man. Uh, Hold on. You'll be getting back the screen. Man, listen, man. Just tell you if the server's doing all this crap in my computer. Just tell the server to just take their money and just leave me alone, man. You got. Uh, did you got the screen back? Yeah. It.
Yeah, it got it back. Like I told you, man, it says the same thing. $36,000 in my savings, $207,000 in my checking. I don't know what's going on, man. Wait, man. Now, see any changes? Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense, man. See? Yeah, see? Okay, see? Okay, I don't know what the system is doing. One place is saying 36000 Another place is saying 200000 36000 I, I don't... Dude, something's this. The system's not working, man. Something's off here. Whenever something's no, off whenever here, man. Clicking on somewhere, what's happening is. Dude, this has never happened before. Somewhere. I've had I've had this account for years. I'm telling you, I've never seen this account do this before. Yeah, you must, never, yeah, ever, ever. Before it was not connected to the server. Then get the damn server off my computer, man. Get it. I want it disconnected now. Okay. Now, uh, have I you want it disconnected, it man. I want it disconnected now. Just check, just check, just check the balances. I did check. check. It says savings thirty six thousand. Check in two to seven thousand. How is that possible, sir? I want to. I mean, I'm looking at it. What are you telling me? How is it possible? I see it with my own eyes. All right, man. It's getting late, man. Uh, I think I, I don't think there's an extra any extra money in my account, man. Okay, I don't think there's so any extra money in my account. So what do you want? You want me to go ahead and tell the servers to go ahead? Yeah. Well, 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 yeah. Just disconnect because you don't need to do anything because I think this is a mistake, man. I don't think there's any extra money in my account, man. Let me let me let me turn this off. Okay. Let's let let, let, let's just turn no, this. Don't, off. don't turn it off. Give me a moment. I'm just Give gonna turn. I, I'm just gonna turn it off, man. I mean, this is just ridiculous. It's it's not. This is not um, worth it anymore. Um, I just turned it off, man. It, it doesn't matter. You guys can keep your four four hundred and seventy because. I, and if any money is missing from your account, we are not responsible. Why would that money be missing in my account? Why would money be? I'm looking at my account. Uh, I, I I was looking at my account sure. earlier. Look, we are sure that we have sent you two hundred thousand dollars. And I'm explaining you that the money is in your shadow balance. So whenever you are clicking on some other, uh, whenever you are clicking on any other page, what's happening is the system needs to go ahead and recognize that activity, and then only they will go ahead and give you the available balance you have in that shadow balance. Okay. Okay. So that's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. So whenever you are clicking on any of the activity on your bank account system need to recognize that activity and then only they'll be going ahead and giving you the available balance so that's the reason the money is in the shadow balance you have seen that the money is in there whenever whenever the system is getting connected you see that the shadow balance appears up right i don't even know nah i mean uh, it, but it, it shows up in one area doesn't and then disappears in another mm -hmm. one i mean it's just it's just weird man it's just weird I mean, I'm looking at my phone right now. Yeah, it's there's no extra money in my account, man. I, I think you're mistaken. Yeah, just because just because from your phone when you're trying to log on, from your phone when you're trying to log on, it is not connected to the server. Well, well, that well exactly. Your... That's why I'm using my phone because it, there's no server connected to it. So that's why I'm using it. I prefer yeah, to use. Yeah, so that means that means, sir, you wouldn't be able to add a balance which is which is there in the account. You understand me? No, not really. Okay. I told you that we have transferred you the funds, but the thing is, we don't want your bank account to acknowledge that you have received $200,000 in your account. So for that reason, that money is in the shadow balance. Oh, all right. So let, 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 let me... Uh, it's, it's Franklin, right? Okay, Franklin, yes, let, me, tell me. let me ask you a question. Does that make any sense to you for real, though? I mean, come on, man. I mean... It makes no How can you, we actually be going behind the bank's back to try to fix something like that? And then, you know, what I mean, it it just it's just. Sir, you are dealing with a multi version of a company. Okay, it's the the worth of the company is billion. So uh, we can we have that servers. Okay, we can go ahead and put the money in the shadow balance. If it doesn't sound real to you, sir, unfortunately, we will have to go ahead with the legal proceedings, and your bank accounts will appear up to zero. 
if you could turn on the computer. Yeah, I mean, it's on, man. What's this? I'm just... I mean, it's just on. on I account. mean, don't log on to the. Just turn it on. Wait for the server to get connected. I don't want the server to connect to my account, man. Then how will you see? How will you see the shadow balance, sir? How will you see the shadow balance if you're not connected to the oh my server? Shadow Think balance. I, what? What? Shadow. What? I've never heard of that term before. Shadow balance. I've never. I don't know. <laughs> it makes no sense to me whatsoever. Sir, I I'm explaining you what is a shadow balance. You explain it to me. Balance. No, no, you, you already explained it to me. I'm just saying it makes no sense. Because you have never heard about it. Because I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I, I like to think that I'm, I'm a little bit, um, 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 so I have some common sense, you know. So I mean, I don't know That's why. It. You are smart. And I'm pretty sure that you are uh, smart enough to understand what I'm saying. But well, that's the thing. I'm not smart enough to understand what you're saying because what you're saying makes absolutely no sense to me at all. Because you are thinking that way, it's not uh, that there's no sense in it. But if you will think with my point of view, my point of view with my perspective, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. See over here, as you are a normal person, okay, you don't. Uh, do the multi version of the servers you don't do uh, the banking with the servers you don't do the banking with uh, the business accounts with uh, having the servers connected to them you might not ever heard about this term shadow balance okay that's the reason you are finding it hard to believe you understand me but uh, you okay need... okay so okay so explain so explain to me why is Two hundred thousand dollars missing from my um, uh, savings account. Explain that to me. Listen to me, then only you will understand. Okay, the reason why it is appearing up on your savings but not on your checking is because uh, we didn't wanted the bank to acknowledge that uh, you have received two hundred two hundred thousand dollars. What do I mean? It's, I mean, I mean, it is the bank. The bank will know everything. The bank knows what's everything. Uh, I mean, what I mean you don't want the bank to know? Of course, the bank will know. The bank just has to pull up my account and they, and, and they can see all my transaction history. It's happening in on their server, whatever they call it, on the platform. They can see anything. What do you mean you don't want the bank to know? See, that's what I'm saying, man. You are not making any sense to me, man. Sir, let me let me just complete what I'm telling you. You're just interrupting me in between. So that's the reason I'm not able to make you understand. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is the reason uh, why you are seeing the shadow balance in your savings and not on your checking is because we don't want the bank to acknowledge that we have received $200,000 from Norton. Okay. And that's the reason the transaction is looking like that is from your own internal account. Like it's from your savings to check in. Okay. But you have the money in your savings and that money has, that money has been changed into the shadow balance. So whenever you will connect the account to the servers, then only you will be able to see the amount which you have in your savings. You understand me? I, I think you need to stop asking me whether or not I understand you because I don't understand anything, man. Because I'm in my account right now. It seems like your server is not in my account anymore. I mean, I, I'm able to use it. I mean, I, I, mean I, I was waiting for something to happen. Nothing's happened yet on my account. So... I think we're good to go, man. I I, I don't see yeah, any. Yeah, I mean, I've been logged in for the past five, ten minutes. Well, not five, ten minutes, but at least five minutes now. Normally, something happens, mm -hmm. but I mean, I don't see anything. It, I think we're good, man. I don't see. I'm telling you, man, there's no shadow balance, man, because right now I'm looking at my phone and I'm looking at my lap, laptop. It's saying the same thing. My, my, my phone, my phone is saying the same exit. No, my phone is saying the same thing as the computer now, you know. So I, I mean, I don't think there's any extra money in my account, man. I, I don't, I don't think there should be. Sir, I'm so sorry. Listen to me. You don't see the shadow balance yet because have you seen that page which says system is updating? That means the system. That means the server. I don't want to. to I don't want to see the system updating because every time it updates, um, it it it, it, it makes a mistake. It. it I don't want to see any type of shadow balance in my account, man. I don't want the shadow balance. I mean, I know what it is now that you explained to me, even though it makes no sense. 
I don't need that stuff in my computer, man. I think we're good, man. I don't see anything. If it happens again, I'll call you guys um tomorrow. I'll I'll let I'll be because usually stuff update overnight at midnight, and then I'll if, if it's still in my account tomorrow, when right I don't see it, I'll, I'll give you guys a call back and we can settle this. But right now, man, I don't see anything in my account, man. I'm telling you, man. My my. I, I, no, sir, I trust you. I know that you wouldn't be seeing the shadow balance in your account because it's not connected to the server. Until unless I I've been telling you this from the very beginning. Until unless the account will be connected to the servers, you wouldn't be able to see the amount in your account because until unless it is connected to the server, the shadow balance wouldn't appear up. So just hold on. Yeah, have you turned off your computer? No, nah, it's not turned off. Okay, I okay. just came back here. Now it's saying, I just came back. It's saying system is updating. Do not turn off your computer. It's been good for the past. Uh. Yeah, the system was not connected to the server. That's the reason. Uh, so, 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 so it seems. So it seems like it, there's no. It, it only shows the money only if you connected, like you said. So if we disconnected by midnight tonight, hopefully you guys should just have your money. I'll have. And then we're good to go, no. man. You are not understanding my point here. The money is in there, but it is not showing you up. The money is in there, but it is not showing you up because it is not connected to the server. It is there. It is in the shadow balance. Once the transaction will be, uh, once the transaction will be completed, you would be able to see the money and everything. Okay. And we have hidden the transaction from the bank. That's the reason you don't see. That's the reason you you see. Oh, now nah, look at it. Now all of a sudden it just shows up again because you guys are plugged into my computer, man. It's weird, man. Yeah. This stupid server, man. See, sir, I then then, then then reverse it, man. Reverse it. Take your money back and leave me alone, man. And and keep your refund too. I don't need your refund, man. Take your two hundred thousand dollars and leave me alone, okay? <laughs> If we try to reverse the payment, whatever money you have in that account will appear up as zero. You're not understanding my point. That's impossible, man. Okay, let me try that. Give me a moment. How is that possible? How can it possibly take a person? Get, get out of here, man. I have given the... I have told the server to go ahead and reverse the payment. Just hold on, okay? And if it does do that, whatever, man. I mean, I have like a fifteen thousand dollars in my credit union. That should last me ninety days. I mean, I, I should, I should be fine. Why do they investigate this stupid crap, man? Look, I'm not sure. I am not sure when will you be getting back your. You account. said ninety days, right? You, you said you, you said for ninety days, right? I said ninety days. It's a minimum time. It can take longer than that, or uh, till the time the case will be on investigation. Okay. I don't know when when you, you will go ahead and fix this case. You will have to uh, uh, you will have to get an attorney for you, and uh, you will have to file this case into the courthouse, and everything will happen. So I am not sure. Attorney. Yeah, because if um, they will file a case against you, they will not uh, say in the courthouse that it was a mistake. They will definitely tell uh, that you did it on purpose. You understand me now? So. I don't know for how long your bank account you wouldn't be able to use your dude. What, what, I, dude, I don't need two hundred thousand dollars from you to this purpose. I, I, I have over two hundred thousand dollars in my bank account. I have I have a four hundred one k in a retirement account with over one point five million dollars in it. Okay, I don't need your missed two hundred thousand dollars. I'm sure they would look at it and see like, okay, this guy does not need a missed two hundred thousand dollars from Norton. Why would I do that on purpose? I don't need. I, I don't need two hundred. I have two hundred thousand dollars. Now, what the scammer did here, he edited the HTML in my bank account to make it say $0. However, I have a Bank of America account and I have two other bank accounts with other financial institutions. Whenever I have a zero balance or even a single digit balance in the past, it always said 0, .00, 0 or 5.11. It never had a zero in front of the um, first number. So... I called him out and then said, hey, this is not how a zero balance shows up on your bank account. And maybe that's how it is in India. I didn't say that to him, but in America, 
at least in my accounts, in my experience, when you have a $0 balance in your account, it does not show as 00.00. So I called him out on it and he gave up. See, this is this is this this is this is um this is crazy, man, because I'm looking at this right now. Why is it says two zeros? Why did it say zero point zero? Why is the two digits here? I've that's this is weird. I'm looking at my What is the available balance now? It's saying zero zero point zero zero. I told you, sir, whatever money you have in there. Yeah, but that's yeah, that's, but that's, yeah, but that's a glitch in the website because Normally, when there's no, when there's one, let's say if I have five dollars in my account, it would not say zero five point zero zero. It will just say five dollars. So it should say zero point zero zero, but it says zero zero point zero zero. So something's off here, man. I don't know what it is, what's happening, but I'm, but Look, there's something's off here, man. Look, I don't know what's going on, but this is not. The server is connected to you, and now the money which you have in the account. That money has been taken out of your No, it's not. I'm looking at my phone right now. My phone has all my money in it. What are you talking about? Something is wrong with the computer, man. I, my phone is just showing my so regular balance. Me, so you are so you are telling me you are happy you are happy with what you see on your computer. So by midnight, if your phone also says zero zero, you you don't have No, phone. right now. What I'm doing right I'm gonna do right now is let me shut this off. Okay. All right, man. I'm good to go, man. Um, I'll call you guys tomorrow if there's an issue, okay? You still on the line? Oh, I guess you hung up. All right. Okay. All right. I'll see you. Cool. So if any any money is being moved from your account, like uh, if you don't see any money in your mobile phone as well, then uh, we are not to be blamed because I've already told you that the money has been taken out from your account and it has been kept in the third party account with our servers, okay? Because here's my thing, though, okay? Uh, anyway, it, uh, I'm done repeating myself. This makes no sense. Something is wrong here. I don't know what it is, but something does not feel right here. Something does not feel right. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't feel comfortable turning my computer on again. I don't feel comfortable doing anything here. Something is wrong. I don't know what it is, but something is off. So just give me just give me a confirmation from your end, then... Uh we wouldn't be accused of uh, taking any money off your account because I have already told you. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I mean, I'm looking at my uh, because you said it says zero. Uh, I bet you. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try logging in again on my computer. See if it still says zero. Hold on one second. Let me see. Because it seems like every time I turn off the computer, turn it back on, it reverts. So everything's good in the world, man. I think we're good. I just fixed it. I just transferred two hundred thousand dollars from my checking back to my savings. I think we're good to go, man. I don't see I don't see any money from you. Not on my account. Not on my phone. Not, nothing's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I am just done, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play this thing anymore, man. This is ridiculous, man. Okay, sir. If 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 that's what you want, I don't have anything to say. But if you are missing with any penny from your account then we are not responsible there was never any money out of my uh, um uh, in my I'm checking it was just a transfer from my savings to my checking there was never any two hundred thousand dollars you know what i mean there was none and it's called and on the bottom it says online banking transfer from um i mean to advantage plus checking so it's it didn't say norton there's nothing in that says norton here your system just took money out of my savings and put it in my checking. That's it. That's all it did. It didn't do anything. There's no money missing. There's no mo extra money. Nothing, man. All right, sir. It was nice talking to you. All right, likewise. Have a good day, man. People who watch videos to the end are rare and very passionate about this subject. So if you stuck around this far, I have a special favor to ask. The YouTube algorithm only pushes scam bidding videos to people like you that watch these videos and are aware of scams. However, there are millions of people that will never watch these types of videos. So I am asking you to share this video with people that the YouTube algorithm does not reach because they are the vulnerable that the scammers go after. Okay, thank you. Have a blessed day. See you next Sunday.